Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so competition is heating up now for the android 12 base rom for the oneplus 6 and 60 devices yesterday i created the video regarding the new update for the cyber os 4.2 which was pretty solid update but another competitor rom pixel x friends team also released the new update so i thought to flash the new p update and tell you guys which is better for you in terms of the performance bugs so you can easily decide do you want to upgrade or not We will discuss how to dirty flash if you are already on the P. What new things this ROM has implemented, and are all bugs fixed or not? You must be on TWRP 3.6 and needs to download the P zip, final zip, and the DM variety zip. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On the new adventure. So before proceeding remove all the pin password from the setting now reboot to the TWRP by using the advanced reboot if you are on the Siberia rom if you are on the P just power off your phone and long press volume down and the power button it will boot to the TWRP TWRP 3.6 is recommended now in the TWRP tap install and flash the pixel experience rom zip file after flashing the zip now tap the advanced and select the install current TWRP You can flash the TWRP zip also if you didn't have this option in the TWRP. Reboot back to the TWRP now. Then select the final zip after flashing completes. Flash the DM variety zip and all is done. If you are coming from the different ROM, you need to go to the format data and type yes. Otherwise skip this step. Now tap reboot to the system. So here I am coming from the Siberia. I did the clean flash then completed the setup. So if we goes to the settings and about phone we will see that we are upgraded to latest build of 10/5 2022 but surprisingly we got the January 2022 security patch here but Cyber AI team implemented the February 2022 security patch the big plus point this bit is that the devs updated this rom to their signature kernel primus 4.9.230 but Cyber AI has the 4.9.300 instead but still the overall performance boosted in this rom They also merge with the latest loss cap based sources so it's a big plus point. Here you can see the performance touch response app opening speed and the ram management all things got boosted because of the kernel and the cap based source building. I also took the geekbench test we got the 493 single core which is pretty good as compared to the average results at the geekbench but the multi core is 1569 which is low as compared to the average. but don't believe in this core rom is very good in terms of performance they also increase the fingerprint sensor speed because of the loss based changes which is pretty fast when we check but very little difference has been noticed as compared to cyberia and this rom but it's a welcome implementation they also fixed the okay google detection previously you were not able to activate this feature under the google app and the voice setting now it's available you can set your voice activation and now it's working too surprisingly okay google is also working in off screen mode which is very good feature i think old issue of more rounded screen corners have been fixed in this rom now screen is fully utilizes as they remove that more curved edges in this build in call low mic issues has been fixed in this rom i tested some calls and they are working perfect without mic issues In this build I added the burn in protection on the always on display by shifting the pixels to avoid the pixel burns ROM is passing the safety net as I didn't tested in the last video so you can use all the banking apps can watch the Netflix with the HD resolution with the Wild Wild One Google Play is also certified here So let's see what's not fixed USB OTG is still not detecting in the ROM but it's working inside the TWRP mode it will be fixed soon as per the developers another issue i found is that i can't able to record the audio using the external mic sound quality is damn bad when i use it to record the audio using the mic in the recording apps rom still not included with the camera but still you can use the gcam also i have given the oxynos camera app in the video description so as per the second build release of this rom it perform very good in all the sectors But still as compared to the Siberia it has some bugs of OTG mic etc which are considerable but still you will not feel the stability like the Siberia in this rom Siberia rom is pretty old and matured now and has some few but the unique customization which are missing in this rom Siberia has inbuilt Oxynos and the Gallery app which are working decent so I will still prefer the Siberia over the Pixel experience 
It's my personal opinion, not saying P is bad at all. It's a god of all ROMs, gives you the feel of Pixel devices, but it need more time to make it outperform in the race. Battery life is not tested yet, but I will now stay for 2-3 days on this ROM and test the full battery how it performs as compared to Siberia. So that is for today guys, if you think I help you, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.